Hi, I'm Greg Wells. I'm a producer, a mix engineer, songwriter, and a musician. And I am here to talk today about something I'm super excited about. It's a new plugin with Waves called the Mix Centric. This is really, uh, it doesn't address loudness like where, where a mastering engineer would take it. This is all about the sound and the balances and the EQ and the compression and the harmonic distortion that I really like to hear. All of that stuff is jammed into this plugin. I love it. I can't wait for you to try it and let me show you right now what it does. We're going to hear the song How to Make You Happy by the incredible B. Monroe. This is the same song that I used on the voice centric video. And um, that was intentionally not a mix because I, I didn't want anything to be in the mix bus so you could really hear what the voice centric did in a track. Uh, it was a good rough balance of a track. It sounded good. It sounded a bit on the dark side um, and not very sort of mixy to me, but that was the whole point of it. So now I've taken that session and uh, I want to show you what this crazy mix centric plugin can do to it. So I'm just going to hit play. We're just, we're parked right before the second chorus. And uh, then I will show you what it sounds like with the plugin off and we'll get into all the different uh, positions on the intensity knob. So here we go. Okay. Bypass. To me, that literally sounds broken without it on. Um, you know, there's there's a lot going on here. Um, there's a lot of things that. Uh, like it just, it's, I can't believe this thing exists. I can't believe we actually figured out how to make this all work. Um, there's an immense sort of uh, the guts of a grandfather clock are going on underneath the intensity knob because it does so much. I mean, it, let me show you what it sounds like. Let's start at zero. Here we go. I don't ever want to hear sorry excuses again so dry a crocodile tears all these words are so unnecessary fight aimlessly suffocates in the air i used to feel so guilty because i couldn't fix you i used to feel so guilty but you didn't want to rescue I was always saying sorry Till I forgot the meaning I was always saying sorry Now I'm sorry but I'm leaving Let me also um, point out something. So, you know, there's a bunch of EQ going on. There's uh, quite a lot of different compression happening. Um, and there is a way to access the compression a little earlier than you would if this, if the input and the output are set to zero. In fact, in the presets that I've done, uh, let's see, I think the very first one is the Mix Fairy Dust, which is, what, what's it set to? 12.9, just a little bit of sheen, a little happiness. Um, the next one I think is you clean up real nice. 
and that is set to 35.2. Um, and then I have one called Party Started. And you can see that the input is up three, the output is down three. And the reason I did that is that um, if you crank the input and then accordingly lower the output, you get to engage the compression uh, before it sort of hits the EQ shapes and curves that are happening as the knob moves. Uh, it's a pretty cool sound. It's a little thicker sounding. Let me show you uh, what that sounds like. Let's go to uh, the second chorus. So this is uh, GW party started, input up three, output down three. Bypass. I'm going to keep the input and output set like this and I'll scroll here. It's a bit of a different uh, bit of a different effect uh, by moving the knob with with these guys set like this. So now we're, we're hitting sort of hilarious amounts of compression, but uh, it still sounds really good to me. I just find that that effect is right for certain songs and uh, certain ones I prefer to have everything at zero and then just let the knob do the work. And that is really my one kind of shortcut trick with this thing. I mean, beyond the millions of shortcut tricks that are already packed inside of it, but uh, playing with the input in terms of accessing the compression sooner than you would by just turning the intensity knob. I think it's a good, it's a good one. Uh, you can do the same thing with the voice centric as well. Uh, it responds the same way to a little more input. I'm so proud of it. I love that it does a lot with just a little bit going on. It puts in your hands the ability to very quickly get to a very pleasing place musically. At least that's how it feels to me. So let me know what you think of it and uh, enjoy. Enjoy.